to welcome to a new kind of review video. Yes, I decided to detach League uh, from uh, the Spanish and Portuguese leagues and take all the Eredivisie away from the Premier League uh, and make put those two countries together into review format. And now you will get five review videos uh, every week from me. As I said, this week I, they might all be still, still a little, little bit longer because we have to do some catch-up, especially in France. Um, but I plan to make them a little bit shorter overall than I used to do. But it all also makes sense because now I have enough French jerseys and with the addition of Feyenoord, which you may have seen, I have also enough uh, Dutch jerseys to actually have a proper background for these leagues too. And the most the best reason is that I want to give both leagues but especially league, uh, the proper spotlight uh, they deserve they deserve this meanwhile we have two super clubs in there with Ajax and PSG and especially PSG more or less winning the transfer window. Uh, some say even the, that's the best transfer window of all time. Uh, the jury is out on that because there have been some amazing transfer windows so far. and We have to actually see how everything will work out. If you have seen my Messi leaving Barcelona video, where I talk more about Messi leaving Barcelona, I'll talk more about uh, Messi arriving in Paris um, now in this video. Um, so, if you've seen that video, uh, you probably are already aware that the impact on League uh, goes now through, through the roof. PSG uh, is a super team, but I expect them to fail spectacularly in many ways, because we know how those Galactico teams usually do not work out. Maybe Poch can get something going, maybe. I have to see, uh, but they should at least win uh, the league and if not the cup uh, relatively easy if they put their mind to it. Champions League, not quite yet. Um, I will start with actually my pre-season uh, predictions based on all these ratings that I have. I say it again, it's the pre-season odds that will phase out over the season and then we have the, ELO, the club ELO ratings and uh, the 538 SPI index, which you can all find online. And I combined those to make an overall uh, rating. And now when I did this the first time, this was just ahead of the start of League Earn. Uh, at a time, pretty much, I think it's the day when it was announced that, Bar that Messi is leaving Barcelona. So at that point, we did not know yet that Messi is there. In any case, it would not have made a big difference. PSG were about to be the big favorites with having signed already Hakimi, uh, then, you know, <laughs> backup goalie in Donnarumma, uh, and Sergio Ramos, and so on, and, and, and so on, and, and Gini Wijnaldum. So uh, that, that was already there. Um, Non-surprisingly, Lyon uh, was considered second. I was still, I mean, Lille didn't lose all that many players. Players, but still it's so surprised that they were ahead of Monaco, uh, Marseille and Rennes basically uh, rounding out the um, uh, mid-spots. Um, as I am, you know, have definitely sympathies for Nantes, I was surprised to see them uh, having barely escaped re relegation. Um, I was surprised to see them up in 11th. And the two promoted teams, Clermont Foot, also didn't expect it because I heard so many good things about Troyes up there but they didn't have a good good good, good rating and both were uh, also on to go down again well we have to see uh where this goes because already in the first round both teams actually did surprise uh but uh we have to start with the first first game in Mon Mon Monaco not where Monaco actually dominated the most most of the game took a lead through Martins and then uh they uh, give up an equalizer uh through not and that it ends. So Monaco dropping points. Then uh, even Lyon dropping points at home to Brest. Kind of a sign of things to come. Uh, one of the overarching teams here. Yes, it is a league that is thoroughly in the, you know, waiting for me, uh, 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 in awe of all these PSG signings, especially of the little Argentinian. Um, 
but one of the early themes they have definitely is Lyon and then Lille not enjoying really good starts and Lyon only won one against Brest is rather disappointing. Uh, Troyes, as I said, gave it their all and took actu actually an early lead against uh, PSG to, uh, but before the halftime Hakim with a really nice goal and Mbappé also assisting Icardi turned the game around but it was not all that easy. Yes, PSG still not most of the signings after the Euro still having kind of uh, layover and so on. So uh, it was not that team. When they played, there was just there was just rumored that Messi was about to go to PSG, and I was thinking if uh, Toa is probably the least happy because they for sure didn't see Messi. However, uh, as, as we know now, Messi will play a little bit later, so uh, we'll see about that. PSG having a little bit trouble hanging on, but the win they get. Um, other remarkable re results is Lille uh, only 3-3 against Metz with a very late equalizer. So also the champions not start starting well. And then a uh, pretty amazing game between Montpellier and Marseille, uh, Southern Derby. Where Montpellier had uh, within a short period of four, four minutes uh, had a 2 nil lead, 30th and 3rd and 34th. But in the second half, uh, Marseille turns it around, or a better OM, I should, I should, I should say. They took less than uh, 15 minutes for that. Uh, Cengiz Ungern and then twice Dimitri Payet getting, uh, getting the win for the Marseillais uh, there. And then. Um, the big announcement came, Messi will sign, the big saga, everything turned. The focus was not only on PSG, but also on Ligue 1. And I think the impact will that, that definitely be that uh, PSG will get now a lot of content. And this, you only realize with this transfer how huge the name Messi is. And don't forget, this is a 34 year old. I wouldn't know who would be better, but I'm not 100% that Messi is still the best player on the planet uh, ov overall at age 34 because I think things peep it up, but he's still an absolutely outstanding player and the impact it had, um, the excitement, I, I hear that there were lines of over one kilometer at the PSG stores to line up to get Messi jerseys, is just unfathomable in many ways. Uh, that player is bigger than any, any any club and I think there will be a lot of new PSG fans coming uh, out. Uh, also, again, I said for me that uh, the Real Madrid and the Barcelona captains of the last few years play now together at the same team and even Ramos uh, offering Messi, you know, if you don't want to stay in the hotel, you, you can stay at my house. I mean... Have a bit of respect for the rivalry <laughs> in Spain, uh, for crying out loud. In any case, uh, as I said, it, it just exploded and I think it will put so much focus on Ligue 1, who was one of the most exciting leagues already last season. And I think it could be a really good season as well, despite PSG probably distancing themselves from the pack. But I think they're... they're are potentially good teams in there that are lo lots of fun to watch. Lille turns out maybe to no not be one of them. Uh, Coach Galtier, who guided them to the championship, came back with his new club, Nice. And actually, uh, the club president already had, had a little bit of, um, of uh, Lille's club, a little bit of blaming him as a traitor, blah, 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 which was not the case. He needed to leave, more or less. Comes back with Nice, and within five minutes, they're 2 0 down Dolberg and Boadoui, uh, and then 3 0 before the half, and it's an absolute destruction of Lille, who have a, a horrible start. Again, we have to go back to Messi, we had the big presentation. Probably uh, the Maradona moment in Messi's life. He comes to Paris, and the whole stadium erupts. Uh, that was the biggest uh, that I've seen in a long time, the biggest. Um, the atmosphere there, how the, you could feel the excitement. And then they line up all the five big signings that they made this season. And yeah, excitement all, all around PSG deliver. I mean, even though all of those were not playing, not even Neymar was playing. Neymar was uh, budding up with uh, Messi uh, in the stands. But within three minutes, Icardi had made a 1-0, then uh, Jacques Ongol and Draxler 3 nil. You think they're cruising. Strasbourg though pulled two back in the second half, uh, but in, in, in the end Mbappé, who got a little whistle at the beginning because he seemingly doesn't, and then that's one of one us, they, he makes it, uh, he assists Arabia, make it 4-2 PSG, running out a big win. 
Big win also for Angers. Uh, against Lyon, 3 0. Absolute horror show from Lyon, uh, especially the Marcelo own goal. But everything else, I mean, this was utter destruction of Lyon, who, like Lille, do not seem right. And yeah, maybe the coach, Peter Bosch, is not the. Um, let's put it that way. He does not have the best re reputation. He worked well at Ajax, but ever since, wherever he went, did not work out all the well. Dortmund, Lever, Leverkusen, and now Lyon does not look all that great for now. Um, and then another really entertaining game was definitely Marseille against Bordeaux. Uh, where Marseille, complete opposite, had a two-nil lead. Cengiz and Dimitri Payet, the same players that scored already in Mopi, had a two-nil lead. And you really thought that it is all going fine. Uh, for, for them having full control over Bordeaux. But then after the half, Bordeaux also takes only six minutes uh, to equalize. And then the game was kind of hanging in the balance. And Bordeaux, who had actually lost to Clermont Foot on the first day, now um, uh, get picking a point up again. Clermont Foot winning his tour. Two wins for a promoted side in the battle of the promoted teams. Uh, so uh, rather surprising there, which means that in Kirk standing we have a uh, surprise top, Auger and Clermont Foot. And then PSG, who have scored the most goal balls, also conceded three overwhelming favorites to the title. And we see Lyon and Lille having a rough starts to the season with two big defeats already on there uh, when we look over the overall expected five final things it actually you can see a little drop dropping behind Mo monaco and i would actually a little bit expect them to go more towards mid table but you know as i said they have not lost all that many. on the bottom at the moment we start Reims, brest and trois uh clermont foot making a huge leap with the two six six points which definitely more than expected also bordeaux suddenly down there so Let's see how the season progresses. I also want to put a little spotlight on the Eredivisie, uh, where, of course, similar as in France, we have one huge favorite, Ajax, who actually snatched uh, Steven Berghuis from uh, Feyenoord, so that isn't good, but Feyenoord is actually in a good rebuilding job. Still, Ajax, PSV, AZ and Feyenoord are the top teams to go in there, and as with all the other one would think that the newly promoted team with Neck and Go Ahead uh, Eagles in Kambu will go down, but Kambu is at the moment even a slightly of Wahlweg. So uh, interesting to see. Um, in the first round of the season, uh, Ajax having, <laughs> having fun with a uh, newly promoted Neck. Uh, it, Within 20 minutes, they were 4-0 up, 5-0 at the half, and then basically they let it go. Tadic Masura and Masurai, uh, Alea, all uh, scoring their uh, own goal that was given by VAR. It was looking very, very comfortable. However, uh, also big wins for PSV, who uh, actually had a special look at Champions League, but they seem to be flying. They're in a really, really good uh, shape. As it losing to Walwijk. That is a surprise, uh, but fair not then a big win over Willem Dwe uh, with La former last captain Trano, of course, playing as well. Utrecht also a big win, uh, so a first standings there. Uh, you doesn't say much, but we can all already see the expected standings that Feyenoord actually moved ahead of AZ for now. And a few changes, Kampur, for instance, falling all the way down uh, as well. So yeah. That was it from, uh, from me from those two leagues in the new video uh, format. Uh, let me know how you enjoyed uh, this one. I actually want to do this now for the whole, whole season. I think it's uh, totally worth it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Please drop a line below if you want to add anything to uh, what I have said. As I'm going to try to keep it compact uh, for future videos. Your voice needs to be heard down there as well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell, so in order to stay updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. With that, have a good day!